Kobe Bryant and the Lakers took charge from the beginning and now they have game one and it wasn't close. Game one at the Staples Center and basketball stars weren't the only ones in the house Hollywood cheering on their team, but it's only game one, right? Sure, but if you know Coach Phil Jackson, that means something. His teams in Los Angeles and Chicago have won 47 straight playoff series after winning game one. Here's how this one went down. Boston got out rebounded 42-31. Kobe Bryant dropping 30 points on the night and the defending champs got tough in a 102-89 victory. Things heated up from the get-go. From the first minute, just 27 seconds in, Ron Artest and Paul Pierce got double technical fouls after crashing to the court back to back with elbows locked. It was an intense start and with 54 fouls, the intensity did not let up much. Kobe just happy to get game Game one on his side with one of the most intense players in the NBA on his side, this time unlike back in 2008. Ron was, was great. I mean, he's, um, you know, he's gave us a, a physical presence, you know, to go against, you know, some of these bigger forwards. And, um, you know, on top of that, I mean, he's just a great all-around player. I mean, he can shoot, he can penetrate, he can post, you know, he can do a multitude of things and, you know, in the Phoenix series in game six, I mean, you, sh you showcase his full repertoire. I mean, a lot of times in this team, it kind of goes unnoticed because you know, we have so many skillful players. It's early enough for you. Our test gives the Lakers an element they didn't have the last time these two teams faced in the finals, but that's also when the predominant feeling about Pau Gasol was that he was soft. Not tonight, 23 points, 14 boards from him. The seven-footer who admitted to getting pushed around by Garnett two years ago was on fire. Also on fire, also that good our NBA columnist and our national columnist, Greg Doyle and Ken Berger. They are courtside, guys. Hi, this is Greg Doyle, Ken Berger from CBSSports.com. We just watched the Los Angeles Lakers beat the crap out of the Celtics, 102-89, <laughs> game one of the NBA Finals. Ken, why did the Celtics look like they were out of their element? Well, it, it was what the Lakers did to them defensively and rebounding the ball. It was a f complete opposite of what happened in the finals two years ago at the matchup of these teams where the Celtics were clearly the more dominant, more aggressive, more physical team. Tonight, that was the Lakers in all categories, 16-0 in second chance points. They dominated the boards, eight offensive rebounds for Pau Gasol. It's going to be hard for the Celtics to win at Staples with that happening. And Rajon Rondo has been the flavor of the month. There's a lot of media members, not me. Myself included. Including you have said that Rondo is one of the best three-point guards in basketball, top five, something like that. I disagree. Uh, tonight, he did not control the game. Tonight does not mean that I was right although I was right, but tonight he did not control the game. What, what do you make of that? Why did that not happen? Well, first of all, they put Kobe Bryant on him. The Lakers put Kobe on him, Sim similar to the first round series where they, they went with Kobe on West Russell Westbrook. Um, in that kind of situation, he's got a bigger guy on him. He's got a guy that he, that's hard to handle. And Rondo just couldn't get in the open court. One of the reasons was the Celtics weren't rebounding the ball. They couldn't get him out and, and to do his thing in the open court to get and settle their guys up. And I think uh, that was you know, Kobe and that factor were the two main reasons Rondo didn't do uh, what he normally does. So if the Lakers are going to uh, be challenged at all in game two, what changes do the Celtics, what, what, what outcomes have to be different for the Celtics to do something different? Well, they have to have the same mentality that the Lakers had. They have to focus on rebounding the ball. They have to focus on a defensive and toughness mentality. And that, that is going to be the key to this series for whoever wins it. And I think if the Celtics are going to have a, a chance, they have to win one here at Staples at some point. Because I don't think that, you know, they're, gonna, they're not going to beat the Lakers three in a row at home. So those are the things that they're going to have to do. A defensive mentality, they have to rebound the ball better. That will help everything else. That will help their offense get into a better flow. It will help them get Pierce going. Everything that works for them offensively feeds off their defense. And I'm saying it's not going to happen. For Ken Berger, Greg Doyle, CBSSports.com, Game 2, Sunday night, Staples Center. There you have it. Thanks, guys. On the Celtics side, Pierce had 24, Garnett 16, and the Celtics miss Ray Allen in a major way. He scored 12 points, just 27 minutes, and foul trouble was everywhere while he tried to guard Kobe. No assists, no rebounds, 0 for 2 from three-point range, and had three fouls at the half. Coach Doc Rivers knows what it takes to win, and this effort wasn't it. I thought the uh, Lakers were clearly the more physical team today. <clears throat> I thought they were more aggressive. Um, I thought they attacked us the entire night. Um, and, you know, I've always thought the, the team that is, is the most aggressive gets better calls. You know, that's just human nature. And I, I just thought they attacked us the entire night. I didn't think we handled it very well. Um, they killed us on the glass. 
they uh, was the 50-50 game was 17 to four, you know, uh, a 17 to four them. Uh, impossible to win on the road when you lose that bad in the 50-50 game. The stat of the game, second chance points, and the Celtics didn't get any. The Lakers dominated the paint and the glass and won the offensive rebound battle and outscored the Celtics 16-0 on second chances. Gasol, Artest, Odom, and company plainly took it to the Boston Bigs. Kendrick, Kendrick Perkins had only three boards. He also had something to say after the game. You know, Doc said if we win the, the, the uh, rebound and what, we'll be all right. But I thought that was the game today. Um, they just out hustle, hustle us and our work. Well, that will wrap it up from our CBSSports.com studio. Thanks for watching now that we've dissected this game. Time to focus on game two Sunday night. See you back here. Thanks for watching.